Hello, my name is Robin Gilstrom. I'm a member of the South Bay Historical Railroad Society's uh, layouts here. I've on, been on the board of directors for probably 23 of my 30 years. Uh, what I'm going to talk to you about and show you today is the N-Scale layout. It is approximately 11 feet wide by 52 feet long, contains three main lines, which we happen to call red, yellow, and blue because of my interest in, in N-Track. But, and it also has a trolley line, which you will see running on an automated circuit, along with, on the lower level, below the main lines, is a fiddle yard that, with helixes at both ends that can bring trains up to uh, any of the three main lines and run out and storage and set up and stuff. What you're seeing right now is the main part of the layout, which is the engine facility in the back, along with the yard tracks, and then you have a town area on this side of those tracks and an intermodal yard here in front. We're now behind the layout in the operator's position, and as you can see, we have some large panels with LEDs and switches. Eventually, all of the switches will be tortoise switch machines, slow-mo and, and DCC controlled, so you can route your trains anywhere you want and turn off any one of the main lines that we have here. What you're looking at now is sort of a classification yard and, and setup yard, along with the engine facility in the back you see there, and long sidings for the maintenance away train. And all of the tracks you see here will be active. Some of them aren't complete yet, but they will be able to run trains back and forth and rotate on the turntable into the roundhouse and everything else that a normal train facility would do. What you have here is our downtown area, which includes our fire and police stations and all the business you would have in a downtown area, along with the trolley line that goes through the streets and runs around. To the left is the houses, or some of the houses, that the people live in who work in the town in various industries. Uh, what you see right now is our bus depot, where obviously the transit buses come and go and are repaired and stuff. There's also a fire station, a grain silo, a barn, uh, and, and then you go a little bit farther and you see what remains of our ghost town. Also, we have a rural area where you have a barn and farm area off to the side. What you're looking at now is the town of Heck. It got that name by, what the heck is that you're building? It has its own small engine facility, a downtown area, over here we have Gunther's Volkswagen Works, and Gunther is a German member of the club who loves Volkswagen, so we put that in in honor of him. What you're looking at now is the Sunset Hotel, which was uh, built out of a kit, and it helps feed the town of Heck, along with getting into the residential area and the passenger station. What you're looking at now is the residential area of Heck, along with the passenger station where the train might stop. Well, as you can see, above Heck is a rock quarry that's under construction. And it's going to take a lot of work to get it finished, but it's like everything on here, it's a work in progress. The arch bridge you're looking at right now, which the train will be crossing shortly, is actually an HO scale kit that's been heavily kit bashed, uh, added new handrails and cut off some of the sections, but it works very effectively as a double track bridge.
What you're looking at now is the wine vineyard that we have and the, it's just outside the town. Obviously where a couple of the lines go through. What you see here is our industrial area on the layout. We have an intermodal area in the foreground. There's some industries for switching just behind that. And then behind the trains running is the main passenger station of the layout, plus another little downtown area. Now you're looking at our boat harbor with the grain elevators. The drawbridge you see in the foreground is working. It goes up and down as we need to. The trestle you're looking at was scratch built out of individual pieces of lumber and then put in place. The drawbridge you saw is a modified kit so that it can clear double stack trains now. What you're looking at now is the Mountain View industrial area where we have an oil facility, uh, a warehouse, and then as you get closer in here there's a logging truck firm. The bridge in the foreground is plate girder, which is built from scratch, and the other two were built from kits. This is our Point Antonio seaport, of which is very nicely populated. And freight trains go by on a regular basis. What you're looking at is the helix inside the mountain that allows us to go from the yellow line on the back wall to, in fact, it'll go all the way down to the fiddle yard if we want it to. There's actually two helixes here, an inner one and an outer one. The outer one is where the blue line runs and the inner one is the yellow line. We had somebody made the, the metal brackets and I basically start at the top and run the nuts down and then there's a screw that goes into the bottom of the plywood so that you can adjust it. What you're looking at now is our fiddle yard that's down below the main lines. It has eight storage tracks plus a reversing loop on the one end. And from the fiddle yard, you have access to the helixes at each end of the layout to get back up to the main lines. You can go from the fiddle yard to any one of the three main lines without crossing another line.
Thank you for viewing our layout today. We are the South Bay Historical Reverend Society, or SBHRS. We are always looking for new members, particularly in the Enskill area, but we also have a very large HO layout that there's a different video on you can see. And we would appreciate you coming down. We are open Tuesday evenings and Saturdays during the day, all year long. Visit our website at www.sbhrs.org. We have an open house twice a year, one in April and one in November, and you can find the actual dates on the website. And we welcome people during the open house. We sell trains that have been donated to us to help pay for our efforts because this is a nonprofit organization. And we're always looking for volunteers to help us in any way they can. Thanks again for watching.